Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Happy red, white, and blue. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Well, today I am pulling out all the stops. We are grilling and chilling. I ain't even kidding you. So what I have is potato salad that I already have. The potatoes are cooling. I have macaroni salad I'm making. The macaroni has been fit. You know, according to package, do what you get to do. According to package, I have macaroni and then I added mayonnaise to it. I'm gonna add other things to it, but this is it. This is gonna be my grilling episode. But what I wanna show you is that I'm gonna make a marinade for my meats, the meats that are going on the grill. Now, the meats that are going on the grill is my steakish. I got some ribeyes. No, not ribeyes. Um, I got New York strip because I'm more into New York strip than I am into anything else. Then I got pork. So I got pork and beef. They're my meats. And then I'm gonna make the marinade. Yes, I said marinade. Let's see what we got. Hang on, let's get this party started. I hope that you're having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, whatever you're doing. If you're making hamburgers, hot dogs, whatevs, rock that. That's all I'm gonna say, rock it. All right, so what I have here is a bowl. I got a big old bowl because whatevs. Let me clean this up. I have, I'm going to make it Portuguese style, so I'm going to use a Portuguese marinade. So, do's what you got to do's. Here we go. What I have for ingredients, I'm going to put some oil in. Now, what I'm going to do with oil, I'm not measuring, so you're just going to have to watch. Whatever I got here for oil, it's oil, right? That's part of the marinade. I'm going to use a Portuguese oil, uh, olive oil. It's gotta have enough oil, so maybe a cup to two cups of whatever oil that you want. There might be more oil that's coming, but this is what I what it looks like right here. Then I got some white wine. Vino is important to use in this. You could use a dark wine. I'm using a white. Put about a cup to a cup and a half. Whatever. Let me add a little bit more wine. Okay. Oh my God, it smells so good in here already. Yeah, let's get this party started. It's, uh, we're already starting with the food having alcohol in it. Never mind my lips. All right, vinegar. I'm using a white vinegar. I don't know how much. Um, maybe a third, less than a third of a cup, perhaps. Yeah, you get a spoon. And I'm using white vinegar but you can use whatever kind of vinegar but this is hot chopped pepper something that could put put about this much don't put too much you don't want it too hot all right let's do the spices because everything spice right is everything nice so parsley i'm gonna put dried there we go and some garlic gog smell it smell it smell it i'm gonna put a couple of zhuzhes of that i like a lot of garlic you don't have to you can put whatever you want put a little or a lot some pepper put as much as you want or as little as you want it's all up to you it's all basically your taste let's see what else i got i got some paprika and put some pap in there i like it because it gives it color so use as much or a little as little as you want. Now, some of this Portuguese allspice. Love it. Oh, God, I love this stuff. All right. I love this stuff. You don't have to love it, but I do. Some garlic. And I have garlic in there, I know. But garlic powder, garlic powder is different than garlic. Fresh garlic. Salt. Cause you got to have the salt. I'm gonna put bay leaf. I'm not sure if they put, I've heard of it. I'm gonna put a bay leaf. Necessarily tons of bay leaves in here. But I'm gonna put a bay leaf in there. People are probably screaming, that's not what we put in. And a package of Goya. So you don't have to put a lot of salt. There's a lot of spices that are already in here. Now gauge it, put it all in. Zhuzh it up. 
and this is my Portuguese marinade. Now, it might need a little more oil because it has to have that oily flavor. Let me see. Yeah, just a zhuzh more of, blah, 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 of oil. No water goes in here. And that is perfecto. Now, what you're gonna do is put your steaks, whatever meat you have, this is it, this is it. Perfect, just like that, okay? This is your marinade. Now, what I'm gonna do with this marinade is I am going to divvy it out. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot one more thing. What? I forgot one more thing. Sorry. Onions. My goodness, how could I forget onion? Okay, just slice it. Got the onion, they're sitting there. People are wondering, what are you doing with the onions? They're going in the marinade. And then I'm gonna divvy this out. You don't have to be on ceremony here. You can cut it any way you want. These are all gonna get booted out anyways. And you can use this marinade afterwards to make some rice for the juice. If you choose to do that, that's up to you. Now it's done. Whew. I almost forgot that part, what the heck? Okay, now this is it. And you're gonna break it up a little bit by zhuzhing it up. And then any meats that you have is gonna go in here, which is my steak, my pork. I'm gonna divvy it out to two different bowls. I might have to make another marinade for this. Meaning I might have to make a second one. But this is the start. The start of something good. All right, here we go. This is my marinade, smell it, smell it, smell it. All right, join me on the other side. I'm gonna show you some more secrets to my grilling sensations on everything. Back, baby. Okay, so what I wanted to do was to show everybody how my mother made the best potato salad. Just saying. And I know you're probably saying my mother's is better than your mother's, but no, it's not. <laughs> okay, no, it ain't. My mother made the best. Are you kidding me? Come on now. All right, I got the potatoes already done cold. Now we're gonna start with cutting them up and making the ingredients. Yes, it's a mismatch of things that I make for barbecue. So I do more than one thing. That's how it is, kids. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the potatoes up, cut them up small, like that kind of dice. No fuss, no muss. You could do this the day before, peel them and cool them so that they're not, you know, but you have to get this cold in the refrigerator. So try to prep in advance. I'm not putting any mayo in this. And I know a lot of people put mayonnaise and I, I mean mayonnaise, I'm sorry. I don't put any um, eggs in this. Did I say mayonnaise? If I said mayonnaise, sorry. I'm definitely putting mayonnaise in this. Um, they have vegan mayonnaise too, if you don't like the egg version. And I don't put eggs in mine. I'm not putting eggs in this one. I put eggs in mine. I'll boil them along with the potatoes and then I put it in. But this is mom's version and mama didn't put it in. She just made it this way. She hated eggs. She wasn't a big egg fan. So that's why I'm gonna do it her way because this is her recipe. And I kind of used, um, like starchier potatoes. I got one that isn't as starchy and it kind of, they, what happens is if they're not starchy potatoes, they become watery potatoes and it holds a lot of water, which is just, I don't know, it's not aesthetically pleasing. Not to mention, it doesn't taste good. So try to use the starchier potatoes, the ones that have the thicker, tougher skin, the darker looking potatoes, like the russets, those make really good potato uh, salad. You could also use Red Bliss potatoes because Red Bliss, a lot of people use those with the skins on them. I always boil my potatoes with the skins on. They would take on too much water if they didn't have the skins on. And that is just not gonna happen on my watch, my friends. So when it comes to that, you let them cool in the skins, peel them, and then you start working on them like this. And this is my cooking, my, um, what is it called? My summer series, I suppose. I probably will do a summer series, but this is my grilling foods that I make for grilling. 
potato salad. I'm making a macaroni salad. Um, I'll show you my mom's macaroni salad, which is fantastic. Different. Not everybody likes, you know, uh, the same old, same old. I have a neighbor and she knows who she is. And she makes hers with just mayonnaise and macaroni, which was very good, by the way. I liked it. My kids liked it. But my kids like this one too, which is from my mom's. So I'm going to give you that version of potato salad, macaroni salad. So you have it because this is the time, even if today is Memorial Day, too late to make these recipes, right? Because by the time I post it, it'll be after the fact or it'll be too late at night. You can always, like, 4th of July is coming, summer is coming. So this will be a great recipe to have in your pocket for another day. Okay. So got them all chopped up. Chop and drop. Just like that. My mother used onion. Now, you don't have to use onion, but I'm gonna use it. And chop it really fine. Flat hands. Go into it always, almost to the end. Move it on up, move it on up, okay? That way it gives you a nice dice. Get your fingers out of the way, curl them under. That way you're not killing yourself. I'm gonna use half an onion, not the full onion. I don't even think my mother used a full onion when it came to this. She liked the onion flavor. Not everybody does though. So if you're not a fan, as I mentioned before, cooking is a method. Leave it on out. But when Ma did it, it was always good. Everybody liked it. I liked it. So that's why I'm doing it. But with that said, we're gonna chop it very fine. I could have probably just did an episode of this. And people would have said, "Whoa, this is pretty good, but I'm going a little bit ambitious for my Memorial Day. I'm not gonna separate it. I'm just gonna edit it out, a lot of stuff that you don't need to see. So you might see this part, you might see a little bit of it. So. Okay, so that looks a bit good enough. Some people don't like onions, then just use onion powder. But this is what it looks like. Okay. That's got a little celery in it. If you're wondering what's green and onions, no, it's not the celery. I'm making a mess here, but if you ain't making a mess, you ain't doing it right. I got some celery with the stalks. My mother used celery. She loves celery. But she would buy the celery hearts. And I'm not sure if I'm using celery hearts. I'm gonna chop this up really fine. Celery and potato salad just go together. This does. If you leave it out, it's not as good. I'm just saying. Hey, what's up? Good. In a little bit, I'm just cutting these celery. Once I finish the potato salad, I'll bring you out the porch, okay? All right, go sit down right now. I'm on my channel. Now what she used to do, a lot of it was, she would make the celery and then the celery leaves. But I'm using the celery as well. You don't have to use a whole lot of celery. I'm probably not gonna use all of the celery, but I'm gonna show you here. My mother, like I said, did the hearts, but she always did the leaves. And there's a lot, believe it or not, a lot of flavor in these leaves, so don't get rid of them. Just cut it up and put it in. It's like the greenage. I use parsley too. I'm not necessarily certain I will use parsley, but I'm gonna use a little parsley for greenage. But her greenage came from celery stalks, celery leaves. So a little bit of celery goes a long way to impart a lot of flavor in this. Now you add mayonnaise, but I'm gonna start adding also the ingredients here. So I'm gonna put celery salt and I'm telling you it's the secret ingredient. If you don't use it, it ain't gonna taste good. I'm just telling you, it's not gonna taste good. And celery salt, so I don't even need regular salt. Pepper, of course. Like I said, parsley. Then I'm gonna add some mayo. And we do tend to use a lot of mayonnaise, just so you know. Dry my hands. Dry my hands. 
And I use this one. Yes, I know, Ma doesn't use this one, but I do. You can use the regular real. I don't get paid to do mayonnaise from Miracle Whip, but I do love Miracle Whip, my God. It is the miracle of mayos. Just saying, I love that zip, zip, zip. Okay, now potatoes are gonna take a lot. Potato salad takes a lot of uh, mayonnaise, just so you know. I don't add anything else. I might add a little bit more celery salt to this. And that is basically it. I'm going to, and this is a method, right? So you can add as much or as little. I'm gonna add more as I go along, but I'm going to let this go and move on to the next dish. Stay tuned. Okay. What this is, is this is the macaroni salad. Now I made the macaroni a while back this morning. Then I'm adding some more mayonnaise to it. I had a bunch of mayonnaise that I put in this morning, but when it comes to pasta, it absorbs and it has absorbed. So I'm gonna add a little bit more mayo and go according to your preference. My family likes a lot of mayonnaise. So we're doing mayo. And then I have here a mixture, let me show you. Uh, this is a mixture of onions and celery that I'm making a whole mess on my board, but I'm cutting it nice and fine. And the spices that I'm gonna use for this, because I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because it's like, you know, come on. Pepper, right? And this, it's a packet from your oodles and noodles. My mother added packages, uh, I mean, um, she added, let me smell it. Mm, I'll add a little bit. I'm not going to add too much of it. Half a package of that. Um, my mother would put cans of shrimp. But unfortunately, there's no shrimp in any stores, and I've gone to every store. Celery salt. You're not too much salt, but my mother loves salt. And that's it. Celery salt, pepper, and a little bit of the packages from that ramen. Put the onions in. That's all there is to it for that. Let's move on to the grilled meat, the shall grilled we? Grilled meat. You want to see this? Let me open it up. Yeah, baby, yeah. Pork and beef. Now, I always have it on one side, the coals, so that I seared the meat on one side, and then this side works as like an oven. So once you cover it, it's just like an oven. Okay, everybody, this is it. This is my grilled meats. I got my pork chops, my Portuguese pork chops. Also the steak, look how beautiful that steak is. Some hot dogs, of course. Here is the potato salad, looking good, looking good. Ready for its close up. I also got my macaroni salad that we went through, mama's macaroni salad, minus the shrimp, is what it is. I made some spinach dip and some guacamole. All I need is to set up the crackers and I'm all set. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and join me next time for Everything Spice. Have a wonderful Memorial Day, everybody. Be safe.